I am platinum. Hey, noise. Putain, 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 Oh shit. Oh. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Wow, look man, sandwiched again, bro. Ask him how's Brexit going. Oh bro, how's Brexit going? <laughs> Top shagger. Top shagger, lanky soldier. Yeah, what a break. Nice. GG guys. <laughs> sake. He's low on Just point. leave it, leave it, leave it. Take next man. Ah. I'll plant. Doors, 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 broken doors. Suck yeah, me. Yes, not. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm out of breath for running so much, Gabby. Welcome to comparative. How is he not dead? Can you suck my cock for me? Is that your hard point? Oh, oh, me? I'm just getting, I'm getting smitten. Oh, I'm upstairs, I'm upstairs, I'm upstairs. I'm down there, I'm down there. He's a sniper, like, I'm going to take him. This is, this is perfection. Okay. <laughs> 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 you're just defused now, so you're just... Fuck him, I don't understand anything. This guy's speaking fucking French. Black Big C. Well, he took forever. You, little shit, talking shit, think you know better, can't you fuck? You fucking suck. You suck donkey ball. You can't play. You think you're better. You're not. What's happening, uh, lanky soldier? Uh, the lanky soldier, yeah? How tall are you? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 ranked mode is not for the weak. That's it. No. Oh, come no, on! Boys, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna go for some uh, double balls. That's it. Jesus Ooh. fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly cried. I nearly <laughs> cried. It's the most frustrating Call of Duty experience I've ever had in my life. It's like the worst thing ever. Come on, me, you! We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Yeah! Help me, fucking dog. I swear to fucking god, can any of you do anything? But at the same time, even though I wanna kill myself, even though I hate myself playing this mode, I just wanna keep playing. I just want to keep going. I just wanna keep playing non stop because it's just so addicting, even though it's so bloody bad sometimes and toxic and not good for your mental health. But I wanna play more. Why? So if anyone doesn't know, my name is Tom, aka The Lanky Soldier, and please join me on this fucked up adventure of mine as I explore Modern Warfare 2 ranked mode. Oh boy. He's next to Mixi Lanky. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I heard Mixi Lanky. Yeah, that's sounded like Yeah, he's next to Mixi Lanky. <laughs> Kinda sounded like he said the wrong thing. I mean, the, he, what he said wasn't wrong, it's just the English language itself is fucking complicated sometimes. <laughs> what? No, it's the way he said it was right, but yeah, the way it sounded, it was like... Yeah, it sounded racist. weird, yeah, it sounded weird, yeah. It's, it's, it's... Stop being racist, man. Now, I might sound negative in certain aspects of the, what I'm gonna talk about, but trust me, there's a really good point at the end that leads us to a magical happy ending. Believe me, there's a happy ending here. And if you've been watching my channel, you're probably making jokes by now, like, oh, here you go, Lanky's negative again, Lanky's being piece of shit again, Lanky doesn't like this, Lanky doesn't like that, Lanky sucks dick, uh, hey, I suck dick, but 20 pounds is 20 pounds, okay? Chill. Nice. Well done, well done. We won. GG's. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> God. No way. I mean, GG enemy team, that was good. Okay, so on the surface level, even though Modern Warfare 2 ranked is really frustrating, but it's really fun on the surface level. And comparing to other games, like we have like CSGO, Valorant, League of Legends, Dota, the idea is that we have these competitive games out there, but in a sense they are really similar to each other, and we don't have a competitive mode in a mainstream casual for FPS shooter experience, or whatever you want to call it, like Call of Duty. Call of Duty is the most casual game you could ever find when it comes to first-person shooters. Yes, it's very casual, 
but at the same time, it's really good at what it does. So it's kind of makes sense to have a competitive mode like Modern Warfare 2 ranked. And now, of course, we have a competitive mode in the most su successful Call of Duty ever. Of course, people can be interested, and there's a reason why Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 ranked has more views on Twitch than Warzone at the moment. Even though it's a really casual game, at the same time, it's kind of wrong that for you know for this franchise not to have a competitive scene. Eh, 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 eh. Chill, chill. I'm gonna talk about this in a moment. Chill, chill. And for example, Battlefield. Battlefield doesn't have any competitive scene. The, like, sure, we had Battlefield one incursions. Rest in peace. It was it was a good experiment. So a little bit about me. I'm a really competitive person. I'm really competitive, but I'm not just competitive for the sake of it. I need something, you know, I need stakes to, for you to be competitive. You know, I'm not just gonna commit to any first person shooter or any other game in, the, in that matter that has a competitive scene. I'm not gonna commit to that game unless I know there's some sort of stakes for me and I actually enjoy it. So I have these five points, you know, five points that determine if I'm gonna be committing my time to this particular you know, competitive game. So if not, if none of the, if one point is not met, if one one of the points is not passed, I will not care about the game and I will stop playing because it doesn't meet all these points that I really care about in a competitive shooter or any competitive game in general. One ready, go next. Let's go. So let's start with the first point: grassroots. So what I mean by grassroots, what I mean is is that is this is the actual competitive scene, the actual system developers developed for their game. So in this case. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 ranked mode. So you have your League of Legends, you have your CSGOs and everything. They have a system, they have a foundation that basically, you know, keeps the competitive scene going, you know, so any casual player can play and be competitive, regardless of their skill level or their rank whatsoever. So that this is the, the grassroots, this is the system. Okay, why does the world have to explode when you rank up? <laughs> yeah, it's over the top, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> It's so fucking over the top. Every self-respect and competitive game has some sort of grassroots system, which is the ranking system or whatever. Is Modern Warfare 2 has a really perfect system when it comes to ranking? Oh hell no! The reason why I find this game so frustrating is because there's no, for example, placement matches. Because there's so many different skill levels everywhere, like around the, like that division, it gets really frustrating, and that's why I, sometimes I just want to kill myself because it was such a bad experience. Sometimes you either steamroll a team, or sometimes you get steamrolled like a motherfucker, or sometimes you play so good but your teammates are garbage, or you play so bad because your teammates are too good, you know, or the enemy team is too good. Whatever the case may be, it's really inconsistent because there's no placement matches. <laughs> two platinum and two golds. You got <laughs> fucked up. If you ever want to experience what way it's like to play Call of Duty without skill-based matchmaking in somewhat competitive environment, this is it. You're asking for this, and you do not realize what you're asking for. I'm not saying skill-based matchmaking is a good thing, but at the same time, we kind of need it, because without it, we will be getting this, and that's why a lot of people are really frustrated with this particular mode when they start to play early. Why do we have one bronze player that never played ranked? For example, I was stuck in Silver 2 forever just because I was playing against really good players with bronze teammates in my in my side. And those bronze teammates were not that good. And because I was playing too good for the bronze level, the game put me against players like that from Diamond or Platinum or whatever the case may be. Because think, oh, you're playing really good. That means we can put you against other competitive players. And I'm just a bronze or silver player. Why are you putting me against fucking players that know their rotations, they know how the system works, they know how their modes work. Like, why are you putting against those players and give me teammates that they're basically potatoes? You know, why? Bunch of golds against fucking platinum players. Like, yeah, it makes, it makes so much fucking sense. Stuck in this fucking gold 2 division for god knows how long. And funny enough, when I finally managed to get out of silver 2, my matches became much easier. Because I finally got competent teammates, finally got, you know, players that understand the rotations, they understand what needs to be done, they understand, they understand the roles, we can switch the roles, we can, you know, cooperate and all that kind of stuff, and that suddenly it's more fun because more ma matches are more equal. 
Unlike the Bronze League and the Silver League, that is basically free for all. Like, everything flies. It's just terrible. It's not. We really need placement matches to make it a bit easier and less frustrating. Now you guys understand why rotations are important. <laughs> We were already there. Uh, when it comes to grassroots, it's kind of important to have some sort of organization or some sort of like some overhead, someone to deciding what kind of rules apply to comparative mode. So in this case is the CDL, the Call of Duty League. And Triarch basically applies all those rules from Call of Duty League to rank mode. And the number one complaint from casuals or somewhat decent players regarding Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 rank mode is that some of it is really too basic in certain cases, and I have to agree. Now, before you start attacking me and saying, "Oh, you're just a scrub lord. You don't want. You just want the cheese. You don't want the competitive game to be success and everything." But the way Call of Duty League and the way the bans work is not really democratic. I understand game development is not democratic in the first place, but at the same time, I think we need kind of like a public vote regarding certain bans. If it's just a small group of people decide what's right or wrong for the Call of Duty League. Is that the right to go for? For example, they just recently banned the AK, like the AK-47. Why? It, like, is it good? Yeah, but at the same time, everyone and their mothers were using the fucking TAC-56. Is that the number? I don't know, the TAC one, the assault rifle. Like, everyone and their mothers are using that, but you banned the AK that wasn't barely even, it was barely used in the first place? D did you even ask the people that play the game, maybe they want to keep the AK and maybe they want to remove the TAC? You know? Did you even consider that? <laughs> I love the AK and since they banned the AK because I got accustomed to that weapon I had to find a different gun that is not a fucking tack because I hate using the same guns as everyone else Like I understand meta, I get it but at the same time, I, I want to use something that reflects my playstyle, something that I'm comfortable with, so I force myself to find a gun that I really like, that is not a fucking meta, because I want to be different enough from, from other, other players, but at the same time be good. I want to be different, I want to be good in my own way. Nine. Yeah. 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 So now they because they banned AK, Everyone and their mass are using TAC. There's no one else using anything else. There's a TAC and there's a Vesnev. That's it. Call in the Vesnev. Vesnev. The Vesnev. The Vesnev. <laughs> so oh, we got the teammate with that wow character, bro. And next, oh. you got that wow character. Yeah. He will. He's a very <laughs> sexy dude. <laughs> I'm the only one that is running right now, the stupid Lackman. Why? Because it's. I may. I made something different, I made a separate build that works for me, and I think it's good, and it's not a fucking tag. I posted it before I've seen another game. What gun is that? Uh, the MP5. Black one. No, no, assault rifle, not the sub. The long one, oh, yeah, 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 assault rifle, yeah. I don't want to do the same thing as everyone else, because that's where the gameplay gets boring. So that's what I mean by bans. You kind of need to find a balance between what's right and what the people want, because just because certain group of small group of people think this is wrong doesn't mean they're right because there's a big majority of people that think they're right and they usually are you bastard now of course the next point why i should care about comparative games in the first place is gameplay and controls if the gameplay and the controls are not there i just don't care simple as that so let's say let's say for example battlefield 2042 doesn't matter how many bugs or fixes or whatever the dice can do to this game, if the, if, unless they address the core problem of the game, which is the gunplay and the movement and all that kind of stuff, I would not care if they introduce a comparative mode. I would not fucking care. So controls and gameplay itself, the gameplay loop of the game is really important. Some people enjoy the CSGO and the Valorant one. There's a reason why they're, they're so big, because they're so different from each other, but they kind of see, have the same gameplay loop that is appealing to certain people. One of the reasons why I don't like CSGO or Valorant no matter how iconic these games are, I just don't care because it's not my type of gameplay. I just do not care about that. I want something faster, I want something more robust, something, you know, um, less clunky. No matter how, yeah, I, I can, I, eh, 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 chill. I'm sorry, but CSGO, 
was created 20, 20 plus years ago. I don't care. It's clunky. We can move on. Time to move on, lads. I'm s chill. I don't give a fuck. And because Call of Duty for the last three years actually improved its gameplay, it improved its movement to be really satisfying, really good, really like fulfilling, and it, I, I like that. And because of that, I, I care. And if you do want to hear about why I love Modern Warfare 219 and Modern Warfare 2 in general, listen to Live Gaming Gathering podcast where I talk about that kind of stuff on a regular basis. So check it out. Video I re released on for the Live Live Gaming Gathering, Gathering Extra. This is me talking about Call of Duty, about the new announcement that the new Call of Duty is going to be announced soon. Uh, spoiler alert, I am not a big fan of that news. It's... No. I hate it. Everything about I was about I to it. say, already? Didn't they just... Didn't they just... Didn't they just... So of course with all the gameplay loop and the controls and everything, let's talk about something that is important to any other competitive game. It's expression expressing your skill and your talent and everything. So remember when I talked about the CDL bands and everything? You know, some of it makes sense, some of it don't make sense. And when you limit the creativity of a player to be competitive in a fair way, fair, when it's actually balanced and fair, that kind of hinders your competitive scene. So when it comes to competitive games, it's really important to have that expression in some certain, you know, certain way or form, because without it, everyone's gonna be playing the same, everyone's gonna be doing the same thing over and over again, and that's, that's the reason why people watch sports, you know, team sports in general, because every player is different and you can, ex you know, you can express, you know, your talent and creativity in so many different ways. Behind us, behind us, behind us, behind us. Dead. Are they coming from spawn? Easy, all stack, 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 stack. Good, we have it. Yeah, nice. So fucking nice. This teamwork. So when you don't have that in a competitive video game, it kind of gets boring, really boring, and no one really interested anymore because it's always the same fucking thing over and over again. Like, what's the point in learning something new if there's nothing new to learn in the first place? So Modern Warfare 2, does it have any some sort of level of expression? Yes, it does, but it's on a basic level. So just because it has some freedom of expression, it gives I gave it a pass, but it can be better. You literally gave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the other aspect why I love competitive games or why I even commit to them is because it's, it's the social, social aspect. Can so you, can you shag us, please, win this game for me, please? Thank you. Well, we'll win it for you, Lanky Soldier, don't you fucking worry. Well, that wasn't fun. No. It was my promised wow. victory. The social aspect is basically what makes every sport out there, like, doesn't matter if it's a real-life sport or e-sport, whatever, the social aspect what makes it big, interesting, and good, and fun. So, without it, all games or sports fail to make an impact on people. Nice. Well done. GG's, well GG's, boys. GG's. <coughs> GG's, GG's. And because you have the social aspect that you have to interact with people to win the game, it, it makes people to cooperate more, it encourages people to play together for the team and not for your selfish reasons. Of course, there's some selfish... There's, because, we, we, because we're humans, there's always a selfish player playing for its own selfish reasons. And there's, he always bitches about his team is not being good enough, which I do sometimes too. Oh, you sound like you just person. done a 9 to 5 and you're depressed. Just so you know that. Fuck. Just so you know that. Fat as fuck and you got to go on and smash a fat. Consider them rattled. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair, but that comes with every competitive sport. The reason we play it is because it brings the best and the worst of us and we learn from that you know there's a reason why a lot of people care about sports mostly because of the social aspect oh we're losing a man oh i got one i'm a three behind the box <gasps> god keep b keep b at least take b back but to go a please and because of the social aspect that is available in the game i met some new people that we added as friends on activision blizzard whatever i don't know what Call of Duty accounts, whoever. We added, we added us, ourselves as friends, you know, to each other so we can play more together. And because we play more games together, we win more games, we progress to the skill division, you know, a bit higher and everything, and it's it's more fun. The game becomes really, really fun when everyone are cooperating together for the same goal. 
It's a fascinating thing. That's one of the best things about humanity in general. Working together to achieve the same goal. And that's why sports are so fucking fun. Okay, one is coming to the main door and one is coming from this spawn. <gasps> Mix to you, Dipsy, you moron! <laughs> Mixy, you oh Dipsy. God. No, 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 no. Dipsy in our team just no, looked no. at Mixy when he got shot from the guy next to him. Look at this. Mixy, Dipsy. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> I was said, fuck you, Dipsy. I didn't even say Mixy. <laughs> I was like thinking you insulted Mixie. Oh yeah, that's a new, that's a new name for Mixie from now on. Mixie Dipsy. People that never play sports, they will probably never understand the mentality top athletes or wannabe top athletes or good players or whatever, they will never understand why they try hard so hard for one particular reason and it's mostly because of the social aspect. Winning is really fun and because winning gives you that level of dopamine that is not available anywhere else. B again, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go B. Yeah. Go, right, stop. Go, I'm going. Stack it, stack it, stack it. Easy. And when you win with someone, you know, with a friend or not a friend or just random people, when you win together, you like, fuck me, let's add each other as friends and let's just continue. Like, let's just win together because it's just so exciting. We, we, we work well together, we understand each other, we can find a, a, you know, an understanding. Let's, let's win more games. And that's why people care. And that's why I care. We have win this. What? Nice. This is the the best team I've ever played. <laughs> GG, boys. GG, man. Holy shit. <laughs> I said in the first round, I love you guys. I said it. <laughs> I said it, I said it, I'm a freshie, shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Oh, you're so mad. All so of your mums are bitches. Oh, are you talking? Okay, dang all you. You, you, your mum. How's Brexit going, bro? How's Brexit going? I have two mums, which one? I hope your mum gets raped. I have two mums, which one? <laughs> Fucking bitch. Two mums, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Because it's more fun to do it together. That's kind of the point. Same goes with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Right, or any other competitive mode out there with any other video game when you work together for the same goal it's fun that's why sports are fucking fun that's why we play together that's why we want to work together as a team because that's what makes us human and that's what makes us happy we are social beings and this is no different oh, I'm lucky beam. Beam. I'm lucky beam. Uh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky beam. I don't know why you're saying unlucky. I mean, we, me and Steel carried you in the previous game we played with you. So. Why are you trying to shit, man? No, we finished you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, that, that's not me, boys. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> well done. You won, a four, you won a four versus three. Well done. We don't lose any points, so. What joke on you? And the fifth point I want to mention that makes me care about comparative games in the first place. You might disagree, especially gamers that are really into competitive sports, but it's sports bullshit. And what I mean by sports bullshit, it's basically that all the bullshit that happens in all the sports you can think of, all the team sports, you know, football, basketball, whatever. I was on you, Mix, to show that you're not just decent. <laughs> I had to say it like. He's gonna go from the left. Left, left. He will go from the left. Yeah. Black Bixie! Well, he took forever. You know, any team sport you can think of, there's a, you know there's a lot of bullshit that happens. And because of the bullshit, that's what makes it kind of exciting. Because it's, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bots! I fuck your family. <laughs> Everyone, go play Minecraft. People, you know, people chatting, you know, shit about each other in interviews, you know, about the other team or whatever that may, whatever the case may be, you know, or players arguing with each other about something stupid and then they find the next minute because they care about the team winning. And whatever the like, or when you match make with some random people and they, and you basically insult each other for no fucking reason because you think you both suck, or when you insult the enemy players for sucking too much, you know, or making fun of them because they rage too much, or whatever the case may be. Delta, I picked a bomb. Enemy planted at Alpha. Oh. Shoot it, buddy! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> hey, you got a streak as well, James. Let's go. 
game's carrying. Don't use your streak, folks. You might just. This is, <laughs> this is perfection. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so much bullshit happens with us just being human. It makes it really entertaining, regardless what you might think. Man, man, you done me up. Fuck's sake. GG boys, good play though. That makes it fun because that rivalry, that fun banter, makes it fun. You actually think you're fucking decent? No, you're not. Oh, let's go A. And do what? Fucking die? Yeah, I agree. Sometimes that banter takes it too far, and that's not okay. It's not okay. When banter takes over, like it becomes violent, it becomes really bad. It's bad. That's that's what I cross. Like when it comes like really bad shit. No, 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 no. I disagree with that. Hey right, guys, you need to go in. Oh, I'm actually muting you again, mate. Fuck oh, you. Fuck oh, fuck. I don't sake. understand why you guys play Literally ranked. Really if you fuck you, fuck Seriously, you. why you play ranked? If you just fuck around, play something else. Just quit now. Who cares? Just quit. Please, please qu quit. Please, please. S save, save the time for yourself and me. Just quit. You, you fucking quit. Please quit. Because you're wasting our times. No, I don't give a shit that they play shit. I just care that someone cares. No one cares. They're just fucking around. Fuck around in multiplayer, not fucking ranked. I don't care if we shit or lose. As long as I know that someone's trying, that's all I care about. It not only comes with, like, talk shit talking to each other. There's some moments where you just, like, you know, you carry the game. You, like, you try your hardest. Like, you try your best to win the game. You're the best player on the team and you still lose the game. Happens all the fucking time. Flashed nice. him. Oh, no. Up top, up, oh, up top, eh? top window, no way. Oh Jesus! It's me. It's me. It's me. Relax. Oh, one above you. No! Oh, oh, fuck! fuck. You never know what you're gonna get every different match. Are you gonna have a smooth sailing? Are you gonna have a really hard match? Or are you just gonna be destroyed? Whatever the case is, you never know what you're gonna get, and that's why I call sports bullshit. Everything goes. There's so many, you know, particles hitting each other, all the random stuff that might happen, and that's what makes it exciting. That's what makes it an adventure, you know, a journey. Well done! Nice! Yeah, really deserved win. I love it. That's what makes it interesting. That's what makes it entertaining. That's what makes it, you know, really fun and enjoyable. Because you never know what you're gonna get. You never know. And that's what makes it exciting. And this is why Modern Warfare 2 ranked mode gets a pass for me regarding that aspect. Now, I understand when emotions take over and you just like, you just wanna scream. I get that. But then you have to remember, it's just a game. I love so many games at this point, it's like, it gets really frustrating and it makes me really mad, but at the same time, it's just Call of Duty. Who gives a shit? One miss, one miss. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, oh, oh. They're one break. <laughs> nice. <laughs> GG, guys. <laughs> sake. Well deserved victory, yes. Uh, no, not at all. So I said at the start of the video, there's gonna be a positive message regarding all of this. And this is the message. Basically, when I was playing, I had a really rough day. Like, like I, I decided to play Call of Duty Ranked for like 2-3 hours, right? And what happened is, is that I was not progressing whatsoever. I was stuck in Gold 2 forever. Like, ever. Like... My soul. No! No, both sides. Noob, 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 noob! Fuck this. Fuck me! I don't understand how they don't know the rotations. I don't understand. <laughs> uh. That that high rank players, I'm just a fucking gold and none of them know the rotations. Please help. Dude, you need to be platinum. The others are too weak. 
for that. I could not progress. I was losing more games than I was winning, and I was not going anywhere. Like, at the second hour, I was so frustrated. I was like, I, I just do not want to play anymore. It was so bad. It doesn't matter what, how well I play, how good I do, whatever. I just can't progress because reasons, you know, sports bullshit. And but one match, one match. All my teammates had mics. I don't know who they are, where they're from. I don't know. Ah, oh, doing GGs, you may slack all your shots. GGs, GGs. He's w he's one salty British man. Let's let's try <laughs> let's try instantly plant the AIA. But we clicked so well. We had this mentality of working together, of making fun of this one guy in the enemy team, and that what that's what brought us together, you know, to make fun of him. And we continue to do so. Ask him how's Brexit going. <laughs> back on, back on, back on, back on, mate. Oh, bro, how's Brexit going? <laughs> And we won the game comfortably. Like, we destroyed them so badly, it's insane. GG, easy, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> flash in your face, flash in your face. Boys, we should like match up again. Face. Somehow, just us four random dudes from different countries clicked so well together, and we decided, you know what? Wait, this was fun, we played well, we understand each other, let's team up and play together. Oh, it's Bakali. He's, he's, he's coming from there. We were cruising. We were fucking cruising. We were winning every game. Every game we progressed and it was going well. We were having fun. We communicated. It's like, I'm like, after a horrible two hours of playing for the whole day and just not hating myself, not progressing anywhere, this one match, this one match, because they all had mics and we understood each other. We. It's just like, it just clicked. And I just like, this is why I play Modern Warfare Ranked. Dude, you and have no idea how long I've been stuck in Silver 2. I was about to kill myself how long yeah, I've been there. Yeah, 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 bro. It, 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 me too, me too. I stuck in Silver. Holy shit, now I'm gold. Thank you. Holy shit, man. I want to play with people like this because that's what makes it fun. There's the banter, there's the communication, there's the teamwork, there's everything. And we. All of us are good enough individually to progress in higher ranks. We're like, we're actually good enough to do that kind of stuff. And when we together, we click and we play together as a team and that makes us unstoppable. We were cruising like motherfuckers, like professionals at this point. The game realized, oh, you guys are really good. So let's uh, match make you against some diamond and platinum players. Like, I think they were diamond, I don't remember. Holy shit, the enemies, look at the enemies, holy shit. Ah, oh, Christ. Nah. We'll take them off the streak, fuck them. Hey, there, there's a reason why they got us, because we're the ones that can end this. They were really good, they were on a win streak. We're talking diamond players that are on a fucking win streak. Oh, you think you're good enough? Here, play against them, let's see how good you are. And, we did lose that game, but not because we sucked. Oh, no, 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 we lost that game because we were... Like, it was margins. It was really small margins. We were literally motivating each other before the match, saying, well, there's a reason why we match against them, because we're good enough to end their win streak. We just had to play a bit 1% better, and we won the game. But the enemy team is all, was also, like, playing really good. So, two teams that were playing really, really good, and they provided a really good match, and it was really fun. Even though we lost, we felt good about ourselves, because, damn, we played good, but the enemy team played good too, and anyone could have won that game. I mean, we're playing good, it's just like really small margins. Yeah, bro, he's camping here in the corner, holy... And that's what makes it beautiful. That's what makes competitive modes in first-person shoes really that exciting and fun. It's because it's the last-minute clutches, it's the last-minute kill, you know, or teamwork in cooperation, or the banter, whatever they may be. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the game. Yeah. Guys, we yeah, need to bring the... Yeah, very nice play. Yeah, we need to have, bring the group nice together, so... These are... These are the things that makes it fun and interesting. It, it, it brings us the... I don't know what you call it, the... The human in us, that like the... The, the really... Uh, caveman brain of just like... Oh, me have fun, me, me play, me play good, me win or something. I, I don't know how to explain it. It just triggers something in our human brain that just makes it really exciting. 
Because there's a reason why the Olympics or the any other sport and exists because it brings all people together. You know, it it brings all the different people from all different backgrounds and different skill levels and everything together for one common goal. And it, you and you make your own adventure in that matter. It's it's an amazing thing to experience, and I hope everyone can experience that once in their lifetime because. I don't think you can replace that any with anything, and it doesn't matter if it's like a real life sport or a video game. It doesn't bloody matter. It's 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 still the same emotion, the same feeling, and you can't replace you can't replicate that. You just cannot. Bitch! Oh my god! Overall, Modern Warfare 2 ranked mode is a overall positive experience, just because. It has all the elements for it to be really interesting and fun and good. Is it perfect? No, of course not. Now we're in close. There's so many problems that I just want to pick and poke and just annoy developers about. But, I, I, you know, I just realized it's kind of pointless. And the Call of Duty League, they all, they live in their own world. They, they, they just, there's no point, you know, even trying to argue about, you know, anything with them because it's pointless. They won't listen. Because... Like I said, it's not a democracy, which in some, in some case, like I said before, there should be like some public vote regarding certain bands and certain maps and whatever that may case may be. Because, why, well, you're gonna strip the game so much that it's nothing more than two guns to use and, you know, three, four maps to play on? You know, what's the fun in that? So we need to find some sort of balance between that. So for the people that really care about Call of Duty, I do recommend to play this mode, you know, just to experience it, because it brings you know, all the best and the worst when it comes to first-person shooters. But overall, I think it's a really good experience, I, I think you should play it, because gunplay feels good, movement feels good, the ranking system is definitely not perfect, but it's basic enough to be interesting and rewarding as you progress in, through the ranks. And in general, I think you'll have a nice experience than, you know, Call of Duty Pubs, for example, or Warzone at this moment. At this moment, just because you can, feed, you can meet random people, and people majority of the time, to my surprise, are not being toxic. And of course, once in a while you're gonna get one or two players that are basically absolute cunt nuggets and they deserve nothing more than pain. You'll get those players once in a while, but that's just humans in general. You go outside and you'll find some idiot being a douchebag. You know, kind of wide that, unfortunately. But majority of the time, it's a really positive experience and people are not being toxic. It's really lovely. But yeah, that's uh, that's all I wanted to say. I just really wanted to talk about Modern Warfare Ranked Mode. You know, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I just want to express my opinions and everything. I think I, I think it's a really positive thing that was added to the game, and I think other games should do that. I'm really looking forward how Warzone 2 will be with its competitive mode. You know, with, with the ranked mode. I don't know how that's gonna go. It's probably gonna be a complete disaster, and I, I can already see a lot of bitching happening. But, we'll see. But yeah, that's kinda it, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for listening to me, thank you for watching my ramblings about Call of Duty. Uh, don't forget to check out my patreon.com slash soldier where you get extra content. And yeah, that's kinda it, so... Oh, don't forget to check out the Live Gear Gather podcast and Battlefield 1 podcast. Yeah, we brought that one, we brought that back, can you believe it? Yeah, we did. Anyway, so... Check out the Patreon, check out the channel, subscribe, leave a like, so, you know, leave comments, give me feedback, tell me how bad this video is, how bad, how bad, good, where my name may be. Thank you guys, and yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace! Meow meow. Yes, meow meow. Meow. What? Come. Come. Come, you moron. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, he stinks. Oh, he stinks. Okay, you know what? I'll commit to the bit. No, I don't. I won't commit to the bit. Go clean yourself. Oh.